Let me tell you something, okay? Let me. I don't know if he told you about it, yeah? You know what is special about Islam, yeah? One of the, the most special things about Islam, Islam is based upon a pure monotheism, pure oneness of Allah. Meaning that, that Islam the only religion that tells you to worship the Creator who is perfect. You understand? When you look to Judaism, you look to Christianity, Christianity, Jesus is God, but God became a baby, but God is not a baby. A lot of confusion, a lot of contradictions. When you come to Judaism, the Old Testament, God regrets. Regret is 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 a, is, a, is an attribute of imperfection. Because what is regret? Regret when you do an action, you didn't know the outcome of it. So you regret because you did it. You with me, yeah? That's why. So when you look to other even other ism, but when you look to Islam, even how Allah described himself, Allahu Ahad. Say Allah is the only one, the unique. Allah Samad, Master, self-sufficient. Everything is in need of him. He's not in need of nothing. لم يلد ولم يولد. He begat not. Neither was he begotten. ولم يكن له كفوا أحد. There is nothing like unto Allah. There is nothing in his creation like him. He is the creator and he is the creation. That's one thing. The other thing, when you look to Islam, Islam, Allah did not reveal Islam to burden us or to make it harder upon us. Rather to protect us and to save us from our, the evil of ourselves and the evil of others. So, for example, Islam came to preserve five things, yeah? Pay attention to this, yeah? Islam came to protect five things, yeah? Islam came to preserve religion. That's why paganism, atheism is forbidden Islam. Because when you don't have the true God, when you don't have no guideline from the Creator, then you start following your desires. And we're going to see what is the outcome of abandoning the first one. Now, Islam comes to preserve the intellect. That's why alcohol is forbidden. Drugs is forbidden. Islam comes to preserve... Wealth, yeah, that's why gambling is forbidden, interest forbidden. Islam comes to preserve lineage, that's why, and marriage, that's why fornication, adultery is forbidden. Islam comes to preserve souls, that's why killing and murder and justice is forbidden, yeah. So, when you do not protect these five things, what is the outcome of that? Now, when you look to our society in, in UK or around the world, the outcome of not preserving these five things, alcohol is destroying societies. Alcohol, is it good for us or bad for us? It's bad, individually and collectively. The NH, they say the NHS is bleeding because of alcohol. They're spending too much money on people that they having sickness and disease because of alcohol, yeah? And a lot of crimes have been carried out because of alcohol, yeah? Now, gambling, is it good or bad for us? It's bad. Gambling is bad for us individually and collectively, yeah? Now, uh, interest, you, you know it's interest? Interest usury. So interest, what I'm going to do, because I know you're poor. So what I'm going to do to you, and he said, listen, Shams, I need some money. I said, look, I will give you 50 pounds on the condition by next week, give me 100 pounds. But I know you're not going to do that because you don't have enough time. So by next week, you're going to come back to me, say, Shams, I'm not going to give you 100 pounds. Can you wait for me long? I said, I'll wait longer, but give me 200 pounds this time. So imagine doing that on a bigger scale. So what I'm doing, I'm making myself richer and making poor poorer. And enslaving people. That's why interest destroying societies. 2009, the moment was on a credit yeah, crunch. Yeah, yeah. Credit crunch because of interest. Yeah. Entire Be world economy. Dis destroyed. The crash because of interest. Likewise, when it comes to ad uh, adultery and fornication, adultery and fornication will cause splitting amongst the husband and the wife because the husband cheat on her or the wife cheat on him, destroy, and the outcome of that, children they have no parents, take care of them, and so on. So we look at Islam. And all of these evils I have mentioned, Michael, yeah, it goes back to the biggest and the greatest evil when you associate partners with God, when you turn away from God. And the good things I mentioned about protecting the soul, protecting the intellect, it comes from the most and the greatest good, which is the oneness of Allah, when you worship Allah alone. Does it make sense? You see what I'm saying? So now, the question we ask ourselves, why some people hate Islam? I'll tell you, there's, there's two types of people who hate Islam. Either they are ignorant, or those who are making money from the suffering of the people. And they look, they look at Islam as threat. Imagine I'm, imagine I'm from London, I have a banks, I have a gambling shops and so on. And you come, or him as a Muslim, teaching people about Islam, you're gonna have to do what? You're gonna threaten my business. Even though you're a good person, you want good for individual and society. But what I'm gonna do, because I'm a rich man, I have a lot of money, I'm gonna utilize my money to make you look bad, even though you're a good person. And this is what's happening right now. They make those who are in charge, those who are making the money from the suffering of the people, they are utilizing their money through the media to make Islam look bad 
even though Islam is the best way of life for us individually and collectively. You know, there is something with our body, nothing will fulfill it, except connected to your Creator. You know, they said that the happiest country in the world, Sweden and Japan, yeah? Sweden and Japan, a lot of atheism, yeah? However, the high rate is so high. So how they're happy, I don't understand how they're happy. Do you know what they mean they're happy? Mean they got good wage, okay? And they have a good houses. That's not true happiness. They define happiness as material. As material way. You see what I'm saying? But when you look to Islam, Islam, what is Islam? Submission to the Creator. You understand what is your life. You understand that this life is temporary. You understand that we're going to die one day and go back to God. You understand? That's why when you look to Islam, even there's a verse in the Quran, which is a powerful verse, that Allah mentioned, Islam will overpower other religions. Even if these believers dislike it. Now the fastest growing religion on the face of the earth is Islam. Who's doing the job? The Creator. Make sense? Yeah. Let me give you another one, Michael, to make you show you why Islam is the truth. And when you accept it, you should be proud of you accepting this religion of the Most High. You know? So uh, uh, now, drugs is illegal. Correct? Drugs is illegal. Rape is illegal. Yes? Uh, what they call it? Uh, uh, stabbing people, carrying guns, and so on. It's illegal. Yes? Now, so on one hand, we're teaching, we're teaching the children, do not stop each other. Don't get involved into the road life, you know? Don't get involved with, with gangs and so on. On the other hand, we're paying ridiculous money to singers who promote, uh, uh, glamorize crimes. And we bring it into the country, give them big money, protect them, on the, so you, and, and, and allowing youth to come and listen to them. And then you say to the youth, don't go and... Uh, Look at the contradiction. Fundamentally, there's contradiction. But when you look at Islam, there's no contradiction. Islam, these singers, they get ridiculous money. More than who? Doctors who are saving people's lives. Likewise, even football. Footballers, alhamdulillah, Islam football, you can play football, no. But even that, look, you, footballers getting more money than doctors who are saving people's lives. Someone only after a ball. Then we say, why, they, they, why they, they, there is uh, poverty? Islam give us solution. Solution for everything. Does it make sense? Is it clear? You know that, that and, and, and when you look to Islam, the five pillars of Islam, Shahadatan, the two testimony, which meaning I bear witness there is no one worthy of worship except Allah. Muhammad, the messenger of Allah. Then the prayer, bowing down. You see, even how we pray as Muslims, everything submits to Allah, physically and spiritually. Our arms, everything, we bow down, come back, then prostrate and so on. Likewise, charity. Fasting, you know, tomorrow could be fasting, yeah, or day after. Fasting is good for us. You know, many people care about poor people, but when you fast and you feel 17 hours or 14 hours now, the hunger, you think, you know what? Imagine some people haven't eaten for two days. So what you do, you start giving more charity. Look, subhanAllah, Islam, spiritual, physical, financial as well. Everything deals with it. Make sense? Do you have any questions? What charities? Depends, like there's different different charities. So, so uh, for example, there's two types of charity in Islam, okay? Donations. There's one which is general. You can donate to anyone. Like you can even donate to your sister if she doesn't need help. But there's one which is specific for a type of people. And you cannot give it to no one except them. The poor and the, uh, the needy and uh, also the, what do they call it? Uh, uh, someone who's traveling, traveler. He doesn't have enough money and so on. You can help him. And there's other one, general one, which is you can give it to anyone. But you make sure if you're gonna give it to people, especially with this organization, those organizations that are trustworthy, they're gonna make sure you get. They're gonna take that money and give it to. Put it to the use that they claim. Yes, yes. You see, so so when you look to Islam, Subhanallah, is a perfect way of life. Make sense? Yeah. Is it clear? Yeah. You wanna become Muslim? Alhamdulillah. So I'm gonna say Shahad in Arabic. Then you tell the English the meaning. So, Ashadu. Let me, where is the max for you to say? Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa. Illa. Allah. Allah. Wa. 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 Ashadu. Ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasul. Rasul. Allah. Allah. In English, I bear witness. I bear witness. There is nothing. There is nothing. Worthy of worship. Worthy of worship. In truth. In truth, except Allah, except Allah, and I bear witness, and I bear witness that Muhammad, that Muhammad is the last messenger, is the last messenger, and the servant of Allah, 
and the servant of Allah. Alhamdulillah, my brother. Let me give you a hug, my brother. Allah You're a Muslim, Allah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Look, they're happy, they're happy. <laughs> you know, this time, MashaAllah. It's a big blessing, bro. Like, like my family's at River too, become Muslims. You understand? So I understand where you're coming from. You understand? So what I will advise you, Michael, with is knowledge. Alhamdulillah, have this brother, MashaAllah. I know him very well. Alhamdulillah, is to learn and study. And Islam is not about just belief, that's it. No, Islam is practical. You practice it outside your, in your house, outside your house, inside the mosque, in your work, everything. Because Islam is a way for life, of life for us individually, likewise for the society, for the government too. Because it goes back to the creator of everything. So the structure of it. So I would say, be strong because now the devil is going to come hard on you. Understand? Because now you are following the straight path. But as long as you're praying, and you're not, we're not perfect. All of us, we make mistakes. Alhamdulillah, Islamic teaching, if you make mistakes, you don't have to kill no one. Just seek forgiveness, turn away from the sin, and try your best to stay away from it. You understand? And like I was talking about charity, try to give charity. You understand? So, what I will say to you, Michael, also your, your parents uh, deliver with the both parents? Yeah. yeah. So, you, only, only your mom, she's Christian or something? She's a Catholic. So what I would say to you, look, bro, you have to show her Islam through your actions. Yeah, because my, my wife, uh, she came from a Catholic background as well. And last week, a Catholic sister became Muslim. And the week before, two of them. There's a lot of Catholics becoming Muslims. Yeah, yeah, two friends, yeah. Becoming Muslims, alhamdulillah. You can see on our channel. So what I would say to you, be good to her. Allah mentioned the Quran. Look what Allah mentioned here. وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهِ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا Allah has legislated you should worship no one except him and to be good to your parents. You know, your, the parents in Islam, very important. Even if they are disbelievers, even if they disrespect you, but be good to them. You, you and I and all of us here, there was once upon a time, our mothers were unable to sleep because of us. We were in need of them. And now we're going to turn away from them. Now you're going to say to my, your mom, I don't care about you. I'm a big man now. You can speak to me like that. No, it's your mom. A man came to Prophet Muhammad He said, Oh, Messenger of Allah. He said, Who deserves my companionship more? Who should be my best friend? Who should be? He said, Your mother. He said, Then who? He said, Your mother. He said, Then who? He said, Your mother. He said, Then who? Your father. You know, even if Allah mentioned the Quran, even if your parents tell you to disbelieve in Allah, your Creator, don't listen to them, but be good to them. That should not be a leeway for you. Say, Ah, I'm not going to listen to her. No. Because that is, is a big reward to be, be good to your mom, take care of her, look after her, treat her nice, and that is a teaching of Islam. Because one of the great sins in Islam after shirk billah, after associating partners with Allah, is to disrespect your parents, especially the mother. So make sure you take care of her, look after her, treat her nice, because she wants to see Islam through your actions. You understand? Let me give you some books, inshallah. Yeah.